The topic for today is relationship between diabetes mellitus and extraction. So what do you mean by diabetes mellitus? So it is a group of disease in which there is high blood glucose level and inability to produce or use insulin. So there are four types of diabetes that is type 1, type 2, other specific types and gestational. Now what are the causes of diabetes mellitus? So it can be due to genetics that is linked with type 1 which is commonly seen in children. The next can be infections or if there is obesity, some endocrine conditions or if the patient is using steroid therapy from a very long time and in pregnancy that is gestational. Now what is the pathophysiology of diabetes mellitus? So insulin is secreted by beta cells of pancreas which helps in maintaining the glucose level. But in type 1 diabetes there is destruction of these beta cells which leads to insulin deficiency and in type 2 there is insulin resistance. So any of the causes can lead to this beta cells dysfunction and insulin resistance which in turn will reduce the glucose utilization and will lead to hyperglycemia which will affect various organs. So in fat cells there will be enhanced lipolysis, in liver there will be reduced glycogen synthesis and in muscles there will be enhanced protein catabolism. Now what are the signs and symptoms? So there are three P's polydipsia, polyuria and polyphagia. The complications are the most commonly seen are the cataract, gangrene and infections. Now what are the oral complications of diabetes mellitus? So it can be xerostomia that is dry mouth, burning sensation, infection or inflammation of gingiva, periodontitis, dental caries, various infections or periapical abscesses. Lastly, the main part is about the dental treatment modification. So first will be you need to evaluate the patient properly. Modifications made for the medications will be avoid aspirins and NSAIDs and prophylactic antibiotics can be given to the patient because they are more prone to infections. Anesthesia as such, there are no changes for anesthesia, but if the patient is also having hypertension, so in that case, epinephrine use should be limited. Bleeding, thrombocytopenia, it is a rare side effect which is commonly seen. Next is about the cardiovascular disease. So if the patient is taking beta blockers and also diabetic medication, so that can exacerbate hypoglycemia. The next modification is about the device. So insulin pump, it should be worn by the patients. The changes for the appointment should be the patient, they should be appointed early in the morning and they should be asked to take their normal insulin and should have proper meals of the day. Next is about the device, you should have office glucometer to check the glucose level. There can be emergency of hypoglycemia that is insulin reaction. So in that case, you need to give patient glucose in the form of orange juice and follow up should be done. Last is about the ASA status and the dental management. So if the patient is under ASA status 2. So in that case, you need to ask patient to have normal breakfast and take insulin dose because if they are coming empty stomach, there are chances of hypoglycemia. So avoid missing meals and consult physician. Next is ASA status 3. In this glucose levels, they are checked more frequently and if required, modifications can be done with the insulin and medical consultation is necessary. For ASA status 4, there is no treatment which can be done and physician consultation is must. So that was all about it. Thank you so much.